Good morning. Is it still morning? Yeah, I got up late. <laughs> um, greetings to um, the Periscope viewers, greetings to the replay viewers, and greetings to my um, um, YouTube viewers. Because I'm going to put this on YouTube. Just got to make sure it's less than 15 minutes so I can do double duty and upload this not only um, or show this on Periscope, but also upload on YouTube. So, this morning I woke up and I might have to reheat this. This is uh, my pot of water. And I'm making some, I used a Meyer lemon. Good morning, Jean. Um, I'm using uh, a Meyer lemon. Here's the package. Meyer lemons. Um, morning. I used this in my, oh my name was chipped, you know what I mean? I used this um, in my little concoction here. Lemons being a very good support for our solar plexus chakra, and that's what this scope is going to be about in this video. Um, also, I put some honey in it, pure and raw, um, organic honey, and ground ginger which is also good for um, digestion. Why? Because it has a certain heat to it. When you um, eat ginger, it, it's kind of hot. It has a, a heat to it that helps with digestion. Um, and lemons also, warm lemon water helps with digestion. And I also added some, the juice of a key lime to this. So what I always do is juice, the lemon and like I said I used a Meyer lemon I juiced a key lime and then I added honey and I don't want to destroy the enzymes because the enzymes are also very important for breaking down and digesting food they're like catalysts they start the process of breaking down things so you don't want to destroy those enzymes. So this water, I was letting it cool down. So I guess it's okay. I had it boiling and it's still steaming some. You want it where you can stick your finger in it for a couple of seconds. So I actually need to let it cool a little bit more without it burning your finger because you don't want to destroy the enzymes in the honey. The ginger, this probably has been cooked or processed in some way, but it's still obviously has that fire so I'm not so worried about this um, and I also have raw ginger too but I didn't use it this morning but just the fact that when I drink that I feel like my food is digesting much better so I'll use that powdered ginger okay I want to talk to you about the solar plexus chakra and this is a book I'm going to show you and I took some notes over here so I can stay on track um, <clears throat> our personal power if we don't have power we can't do anything. We can't get anything done because we don't have the energy. We don't have the ideas. We don't have the creativity. We don't even have the will. Good morning, the butterfly. We don't even have the will to do anything. So by supporting our solar plexus chakra, which would be the hey Tama gems, which would be the entry point for our energy, for our ideas, for our creativity, and all that good stuff. That's how we're going to have the personal power and the personal will and drive to get stuff done. So how can we support our chakra? By making this concoction, hey, by making this concoction that I just showed you. If you didn't catch it, catch the replay. Um, and also by using crystals and different herbs. The only herb or food I have today is the ginger. Um, also, I guess I could use this too. Earl Grey tea, I figured it out, comes from bergamot. Uh, the oil of the oil of bergamot which is like a citrus type fruit yeah kind of like I think it was a cross between an orange and a lemon so bergamot so if you can drink this tea with bergamot there's also an essential oil called bergamot which I don't have I forgot to bring that in here but an essential oil called bergamot and when you smell it it smells citrusy so any citrus fruit so I got oranges here we got key limes we got lemons any citrus fruit will support your solar plexus chakra. It will help anything that has to do with your stomach and digestion of ideas. Okay? Where do we in our physical body get the energy to do anything? Through our stomach. 
we have to eat food. And not only do we have to eat food, the food has to be broken down and all the nutrients have to be properly absor absorbed and assimilated into our cells and into our body to become a part of us. So if we don't have proper digestion, we're not gonna get energy, okay? People with different ailments, you know, problems with the lining of their stomach, ulcers and things, problems with their intestines, they don't digest, they don't assimilate nutrients. Things have to be broken down in your stomach. So drinking these things, um, and eating citrus fruits and using um, ginger and drinking uh, Earl Grey tea, which is, has the oil of bergamot in it, will support your digestion, okay? So, let's see. So, crystals that will help. Um, oh, I wanted to say this too. When we're thinking about our personal power, to me, the solar plexus is becoming really popular. It, I've noticed that when I do card readings and when I do crystal healings and things like that on people, they all seem to have a problem with two chakras, the throat chakra and the solar plexus. And if they have a problem with either or the, sh the um, solar plexus or the throat chakra, they have a problem. they're like both messed up. So they're connected. I believe, um, and I actually just read an article right before I got on the scope about before you work with a crystal that's specifically for the solar plexus, to use a crystal that's specifically for um, clearing your chakras or communication and this um, particular one that they recommended was blue kyanite blue being the color of the throat chakra and kyanite being a very clearing crystal okay so and kyanite comes in various colors I actually have and I forgot dang I forgot to bring it in here um blue kyanite I have that and black kyanite I have that and I always wear black kyanite every day because it clears your chakras it clears all of them and then the blue kyanite will clear them all too, but then has the added boost of communication due to the blue color, okay? So, um, before you work with uh, any particular stone, work with your um, clearing stones. It's gonna clear everything. And also get your chakras to communicate. If there's no communication, meaning the energy's not flowing, it's no good to put a bunch of power into your powerhouse, your solar plexus, and not um, have it where it can move fluidly throughout your whole being, okay? So our solar plexus chakra deals with our self-worth. How valuable do you think you are? How, va how much do you value yourself? Your ego, your personal power, your clarity, how clear you are on things, and your creativity. It's responsible for the effective flow of energy throughout the whole body. You have to have energy and then it has to flow, okay? Helps you to feel um, centered and governs manifestation of getting things done. It's located in between in the stomach, between the sternum and the navel, and it also has some uh, what they call in the medical um, field digestive. Um, your stomach has accessory organs: the spleen, the pancreas, the liver, and those organs help you to digest food and break things down. Okay. So what are stones that we can use? A lot of the stones, you can use a yellow stone, of course, but since I was talking about connecting things, your heart chakra and your um, solar plexus are also right next to each other. So stones that are um, light pale green are fine too. So peridot, let's say a little bit, peridot, serpentine is like a yellowish green, hedonite, um, green praenite, prednite, Hey, look, I wrote it down. <laughs> um, there you go. That's some notes at the top of the page. <laughs> um, Perido, Serpentine, Ignite, Green Creonite. And I also had a stone that's called, what's it called? Helorite. And oh my gosh, I was so drawn to that stone. And again, why did I leave it all in another room? I guess I could go get it, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> all right, let's, let's go. Let's go. Pay no attention to any mess you might see. That's not that bad in here. It's really not that bad. Where is my, where is my, oh, let's see. Do my feet and all that crap, okay. Look, Helorite, see how it's um, yellowish green? Yeah, I was in the store and I swear to you, this thing called to me and said, get me. And look how it fits in my hand. See how that's kind of like this notch right here? 
it fits in my hand like somebody carved this from my hand. This is my baby, okay? So obviously, and I still have so much work to do on my solar plexus because it is, it has, it needs a lot of clearing, okay, on me. And I've noticed with a lot of other people too. So, um, yeah, I got that. No other stones here. All right. Okay. Going back to the house. Let's go back to the kitchen now. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. We're back. So you saw that one. Um, I guess I could show you other ones, but I, I, I forgot to get them. Sorry. <laughs> the other stones that I have. So we want yellow, golden, um, like the sun um, stones, and we want pale green stones. Those will all support the solar plexus chakra. Um, also, just going out into the sun. I know it's cold. I know it's blizzards, but I'm in Florida. I'm sorry. <laughs> so it's like 56, I think, now, something like that. It did get cold. It was in the 40s, so it did get a little colder. Let's see. Let's put this in here. So I let this. Hey, Captain Grace. Thank you for inviting followers. So hey. Um, so that's my cool down water. Okay, I don't want it to be too hot so it destroys the enzymes and the honey, the raw honey that I put in there. That's just the measurements that I'm starting it with. So this is like I said, um, for digestion, helps um, to help out our solar plexus because the solar plexus um, gives energy. It's the gateway, the portal of energy for our stomach there and the place where we digest and break down foods. Hey, the tribe goddess. Hola. Okay. So, so I gave you some of the crystals. Yeah. So we already went through that and I gave you the color, gave some examples. And so now I'm going to make a suggestion in the, um, ever ongoing course of knowing ourselves. This is a really good book series. Now this book series is usually, for nurses okay but hence it says critical care nursing made incredibly easy okay but we're all intelligent people okay it's because it says something about some nursing does not mean you cannot read it and um learn something from it the reason why i recommend just getting the critical care nursing because is this is like breaking stuff down in the um very severe things that can happen and it does have a lot of tests in it that they do in hospitals and until we fully heal and um, get ourselves to a place where we can be like very self-governing of our bodies you know sometimes we get to a point where we break down so much we have to go to a hospital just to stay on this physical plane okay my goal is always to teach people how to avoid going there in the first place okay even though I'm a nurse I don't want you to come see me Right? I'd much rather work with people on that root, um, the root causes of disease so that they don't get sick in the first place, okay? But if you do get sick, yes, we have hospitals. Um, and I mean like critically sick to where, you know, herbs are designed, herbs and oils are designed to keep you in balance. But once that homeostasis or balance is so far gone, that's when we end up having to have those emergency, you know, medical means okay like I said my goal was for you not to have to go there so this chapter in here chapter 6 about the gastrointestinal system okay it's all about your stomach the alimentary canal which is the tube <clears throat> that starts in the mouth and goes all the way down to the anus that's the whole canal that deals with taking in energy and then digesting it and then assimilating it and absorbing it into our body and I hope I'm not going on for 10 minutes I don't know how I started. Okay, I gotta hurry. Okay, so as you see, stomach, your esophagus, and the accessory organs that I talked about, okay, your liver. And if you look at chakra books that talk about chakras, it will tell you that um, these the solar plexus chakras associated with these organs, okay? The stomach, the liver, the gallbladder, okay? The pancreas, and, and that's what we just talked about, digestion. And then eliminations at the end part, and that's more about um, the uh, root chakra, the elimination.